bus and getting ready to go to Diamond Hill. We're going to hike that up today and we're going to lunch at Kim Kimmore Kilmore Abbey. At Kim uh, Abbey. Kilmore Abbey, yeah, that's what I said. I don't know what that is. <laughs> but I'm here with Steph. in the calendars. <laughs> um, but I guess I'll see you guys at the hill. Alright. Yeah. Hi. Yeah, why do they have like, they don't want to identify them too. Yeah, he was saying it's such a deal who who was with sheep. And then that way they know they have spring lamb. Right now we're going to climb on our way to Diamond Hill. Unfortunately, we don't have time to actually climb the whole hill today, but we did get to explore some of the hillside, and um, it's very beautiful. Um, I'll get some footage of Diamond Hill if we get closer to it, and yep, yeah, it's a nice day out for hiking. So I'm continuing to walk up the Diamond Hill tour and it's definitely a hike as you hear. I'm a little out of breath. I'm also so congested today. But um, I did fall a little bit earlier, but I'm fine. It was a pretty soft fall and I'm having fun. And here's a little bit of a closer view of the Diamond Hill. Yeah. He's explained that it's kind of a marking point of um, continental drift a few years ago, something like that. Um, it's pretty neat, but we're going to be stopping up here soon for another talk. Okay. Okay, so we're on the top part of our tour, and we're going to head back down, and this is our view. And down this one here, and this big border. Um, made out of granite. So that's all for this tour, and we're gonna head back down. Okay, bye. I forgot to mention that the land here, the reason why there's no trees around here so naked is that because it's on bog land, it's very soft, and it's really hard for tall plants to root themselves and grow here. And I'm just walking carefully down these rocks right now. That's so dangerous, my dad's gonna be mad at me. Anyways, I'll see you later. <laughs> that's all I wanted to say.
Well, we stop back here.